that tat. Show them the new tat. Tell them stop playing with you. I'm gonna use my niggas right here. Alright. Yo, talk about that beef, bro. Shit. The first thing I wanna say is. What? <laughs> <laughs> I said, look, hey, T Pain, man. Shout out to you because me could do what you did. But you did. T Pain? It's T Pain. It's Push a T, nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Dog, Pusha T really came for that nigga's life, like off some off some wild shit. Nigga talking about his friend about to die and shit, the nigga Jeez. died slowly. Like, he went past rap, he went past your bars is whack, he went past you don't write your own stuff, he went to your dad beat dad, your Damn. friend's about to die, your, mom, your dad didn't love your mom, like, I'm dog, on. He did, he's my man in the chest, that's the grown man time. I bang with both, Push, Pusha T's one of my favorite rappers ever, and Drake is hard obviously, but... Now it's your tough. favorite rapper ever. Right. I said one of bandwagon. One, first off, first off, first off. Y'all need to know about no Pusha T. First, anybody know anybody that know me know I bump Pusha T tough. So that's not even for that. Drake is hard, but the thing about what he was saying is like, the, the Pusha T this to me, it was tough and stuff like that, but how can you call somebody a Debbie dad because they don't want to post their kid on social media and stuff like that? What type of age are we in where if you're not posting your kid on social media, you a Debbie dad? Everybody don't have to be the DJ Khaled and have Assad everywhere with them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, true, some that's people true. might just want to move. and Because imagine right now, Drake is... Him, Adele, and Taylor Swift, and Beyonce are like the biggest artists in the world. Mm -hmm. And Bruno Mars or whatever. You get the point. They're like the biggest in the whole world. So, imagine the type of comments that if Drake put his kid out there... You know it's gonna be niggas in comedy, boy. Your child ugly as hell, boy. <laughs> just saying nut shit. A bunch of nut shit. So yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, you want to protect your child from that. So now we're in the era that if you don't want to post your kid, as soon as they come out the pussy, it's, oh my gosh, you a deadbeat dad. I don't agree but with that. But at the same time, I feel, like, I feel like the reason he's not posting his kid, though, is because he's, he's kind of ashamed. Like, but we don't know, though. We don't, we, I don't, know. we don't know his intentions. Listen, I do. Me. Listen, listen, listen. So the, the word on the street is he had, like, some deal with Adidas. I guess baby clothes or something. He was gonna come out with his son and like put him on a platform. Like, look at this, my son and shit. So right. the thing is, oh, well, also, he like spent Christmas with his son. All this other shit coming out. So really, it's looking like he's not a Debbie dad, but because he didn't want to put him in the limelight. Right. Like, That's what I'm saying. Things coming at his neck, like, oh, you a see? Nigga. Social you media. That's what That's because what they, to you. So really, push it like push it, sort of twisted it, which is mm. genius. Yeah. For, yeah. For, yeah. Beef, too. For, for beef purposes, the biggest Wait. thing is calling him a Debbie dad. People are like, yo, Drake. Oh, that's as big as this, because Pusha T said, okay, what did he really, it was a good joint, but what did he really say, like, besides him being a deadbeat dad, which was big, okay, okay, the porn star joint is wild, I'm no Drake, you're oh, yeah. bugging, you gotta pull out on that, bro, mm. hell no, no porn star, that's a big, that's, album. that's the, that's the main reason why I'm saying he's ashamed, bro, no, no, yeah, but I don't think he's ashamed of his, he's ashamed of who he had a kid with, but that's not his man. kid. Right, you can yeah. show your kid and that's, be that's like, I'm never showing, showing the baby yeah. mom. They right. should do it every day. Yeah, they be having their kid in 10 pictures. You never know who the right. baby dad is. They got the emoji on the face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, okay, but what else? What does Pusha T say? Pusha T sites to talk oh, about his mom, <laughs> his mom, his <laughs> dad. His, whole his dad. Life. He could talk about his dad, though, because his dad was. Because yeah. when Drake diss, when Drake had diss Pusha T, Drake dad was talking that fly ish on Like Drake, he, he, he feeling good about himself right now, obviously, like for the. With the Meek Mill situation, like that's why I feel like he uh, responded so fast to uh, Infrared. With uh, I feel like his response was really good too. I like his response. I feel like more than other people. But Pusha T has been waiting for this moment his whole life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's been waiting for this moment for like ten years. That's so he true. came prepared, and literally every time I listen to it, I find something. I listen. I'm like, yo, this man's actually sick in the head. Like, there's something wrong with this dude. Every time I go back, I'm like, yo, I find something like. He, it's deeper because like how um, he was talking about uh, like his in infrared. It was literally mostly about music. Like it was literally about like how he don't rap. Like it was running like now, nah, but it came from Quentin. And then like the moment he was literally waiting for uh, for this nigga Drake to put his uh, fiance in the song because then he took it to a completely different direction. It wasn't even really about music. He was just tagging him personally, and not just him. Literally everybody around him, his people. His, his baby mom's mm. mom dad literally everybody around him for it like oh my gosh 48 deserved that i is it wrong for me to laugh when i hear that no. <laughs> no. Nah, hey, that's not even <laughs> fucked up yeah like bro what is wrong six 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 i'm messing with the devil for a six 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 oh my gosh mm. why think about that drake had the better song pusha t had the better diss because mm. you gotta think about like 
Pusha T joint, I don't even know if it was bars, dog. It wasn't even, I don't even think he wrote it for the bars. And I, like, like, uh, like Kai just said, what you got when he was in the car, he stole that shit from me. Uh, <laughs> Pusha T was waiting for this forever. And the thing was this, where Meek Mill went wrong was, Meek Mill was, he moved off of motion. Cause Meek Mill, Pusha, you could tell Pusha T was ready because he was already, they've been throwing jabs at each other. Meek Mill was just on some, I'm not even trying to rap battle you, I'm just trying to, like, expose that you fake and you don't write your shit. Yeah, yeah, facts. Because he went on Twitter with it. Pusha T was on straight music, so he was, he been writing for Dre, like, boy, the day this man step out of bounds is over. Because you really got to think about it, bro. He said, he said, I, what he said, I told you I would ring on you like Virginia Williams. I mean, he said, he, he said his fiance name, but he wasn't like, oh, Virginia Williams. No, nah, that's why, name. that's why I effed your girl or nah, some that. Tupac. Don't but I'm saying, but cool. Speak her name. Cool, but. You could tell Pusha T was like, he just needed a reason to go that crazy because he literally said a punchline that was, I will ring on you like Virginia Williams. He didn't disrespect the girl. He didn't say nothing wild. Pusha, no T, Pusha T just wanted something. He just wanted something to say, damn, so why you talk about 40 like that? Well, he said my fiance. So why you talk about Dennis Monkey Soup? Well, he said my fiance. Why you talk about the man's mom? Should I have said he talking about my, bro, come on, bro. And on top of that, on top of that, Drake is still gonna be good, bro, because at the end of the day, of once Drake make another I need a one dance, niggas gonna forget <laughs> about this push T-shirt. When he make another God's plan, they gonna forget about it. So at the end of the day, I'm happy. The the happiest thing I'm about is that Pusha T finally gonna get his recognition now. Cause nigga, niggas acting like Pusha T just came out yesterday. Yeah, I don't, this nigga been rapping for 15, 17, know. 20 years. How, the clips came out in like 02, that was their debut album. He been rapping for that like 15 years on a commercial stage. And niggas acting like he's just a new rapper. So I'm happy he's finally getting his just due. But it's only gonna last for But but so at the end of the day, he did kind of do a little too much because if Drake would have been like, yo, nah, that's why that. if Drake that's would have been on some nut shit like that's why I effed your girl and shit, then nigga everybody could get that. it. <laughs> but he just said a simple bar, but come on my nigga. And like, beef man, at nothing's off limits to mm -hmm. me. If it's out there, it's on the table. There's no nothing's off limits because the moment you decide, like, all right, this is off limits. Someone else is going to take that reach, and then you're going to have you looking crazy. No, that's a fact. Yeah, I mean, it, it is a thing that you, it's a thing that you should never tell somebody else how to react. You see what I'm saying? Some people get smacked in the back of the neck. They might be cool with it. Some people get smacked in the back of the neck. They might shoot you. So I can't tell Pusha T how to react. Wait, so you th do you think Drake need to respond? Yeah, he does. Just just, just so he can get his credibility back. Like, If he doesn't respond, Drake is going to be known as a bitch. <laughs> and that's facts. Am I wrong? To me, like at this point, dog. After what? To be honest, I'll be scared, cause like. After what? Nah, Pusha I wouldn't T be scared. Said. Nah, but Pusha T definitely like he wants him to, cause mm -hmm. I feel like Switch T got something in the stash, <laughs> and, and, and the, the like idea that they can get something worse, <laughs> that they can get mm -hmm. worse than this, is actually kind of wild. So I hope he does respond. Just off of I want to see what uh, Pusha T do. Mm -hmm. But after this, dog. After all the stuff that Pusha T says. I don't even know why they still rapping. Like, they got to fight now. Like, ain't, no, ain't no bars that's going to make somebody disrespect. That's going to make you be like, all right, cool. Well, you just, you violated my family and my man who's sick, but we can still rap. Ain't no rapping after that, dog. They, they stop rapping after Ducky. They're not going to fight them. They're not going to fight them. It don't matter. You got to find a fight within yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely it's, over, it's over for the rap shit, though. If I'm Drake, nigga, you got to fight that nigga now, bro. Fuck the bars. He violated your whole existence. So, do y'all think Drake about to overcome this or what? I think there's nothing to overcome. I don't know. He's straight. He's straight. And, all right, there's two, with, with Drake, there's always two aspects. It's like how hip hop, people who actually like care about the culture look at it, and then there's all the, everybody else, pop, his pop mo the majority of his fans. It's they don't care. Mm -hmm. Like, he's going to be in the same, sp if not, they want to raise him higher. They want to support him. But the people who That's don't. That's what they're going to do. The people who don't think he can rap, the people who don't like him already, uh, the people who's on the fence or nobody's opinion, this is obviously gonna break it down. Cause if you actually like hip hop, if you actually like real music, you can obviously tell if Drake is taking a fat L. Mm -hmm. But money wise and all that, shit, his album sales gonna be great. If anything, they can kind of go up. Yeah. So he's good <laughs> in that aspect. But hey, man, this is a win for me, Team McMillie. Team McMillie. <laughs> 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 <laughs>